Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we often ask questions and you know wonder how many people move ahead uh, to Windows 11 or not, and uh, who moves to Windows 11, and you know it's it's a complex issue because I always say the majority of people uh, move on to a new Windows just because they buy a new PC. That's what the big big majority of people actually do. The enthusiasts that we are. And especially if you're a real Windows enthusiast, you always want to have the latest. You always move your your machines to the latest version of Windows. That's the way we are. And um, there was a survey that was done that asked if you moved on to Windows 11. And it asked um, 10,000 PC owners. Now, you know, there's billions of owners out there, so it's not necessarily the best representation, but I think it gives us an idea still of who is moving to Windows 11. On 10,000 surveyed, okay, of those that moved on to Windows 11, the enthusiasts uh, and the people that are, are, are really have a, a machine that was on Windows 10 and that has the... Um, supported hardware that could move on to Windows 11 out of those 10,000 people, 43.1% said they moved to Windows 11 from Windows 10. So already we got an interesting number here of everybody that has a supported machine, including enthusiasts, 40-some um, percent, which means more than half decided, now nah, I want to keep Windows 10. I'm okay and I'm fine and I'm staying here. So that's an inter interesting number. And there was, out of that 10,000, 21% um, that moved to Windows 11 after buying a new PC. So there's definitely an interesting uh, thing here to see you know, who buys new PCs or not. And um, so the enthusiasts, it's interesting to see that, you know, and even... Uh, the regular folks, um, more than half, are keeping Windows 10. And, and that is definitely, um, it's not surprising for me. And um, I'm actually surprised even that in non-enthusiasts that there's a certain number of people that actually moved on to Windows 11. But it's interesting to see that. So that's, you know, a, a, a quick representation. And it is a tech site, so it's not a representation that is too, um, you know, you can take it and say, well, this is the general population. No, because it's a tech site that asked the question. So if you go to that site, you're already probably an enthusiast or you're more advanced than a lot of other people. So it doesn't represent the reality, but it is an interesting uh, thing to see that more than half of people who would go on, so they have maybe more knowledge about PCs, more than half still stay to Windows 10. So that is an interesting number. So if we put it, of course, the general population with the latest numbers we have, is that there's about 20% of people on Windows 11 right now, which is one computer out of five. Um, so, you know, um, once again, for me, Windows 11 is not a failure. It's far from it. It's not a Vista at all. Anybody saying that it's a Vista, I don't think they know what they're talking about personally because, um, you know, it's more a ranting of, oh, I don't like the new style, and that's it. And, you know, when you look at blogs where people complain, when somebody says, I don't like it, don't take that as a comment because if you don't explain what you don't like, you, there I, it's not even a comment. It's it's you know it's not even worth reading it. Um, you know the interesting comments here on the channel, for example, are the ones where the people explain, "I went to Windows 11 and this and this and this happened. I didn't like that, so I went back." There you are explaining why, and that is the interesting part. Why are you going back or not? Uh, you know, but if you just post, uh you know, oh, it's 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 a piece of crap. I went back. Doesn't mean anything, and you probably never went anyways because that's the type of comment of probably haters that are trying to just you know lower the the grade of the Windows operating system itself. So, um, anyways, interesting numbers. Um, like I said, you can't take them. You can't take those ten thousand people and put them in a general population. These are people that go on a, a tech site. The general population, most of the people never go to tech sites. They just go to their regular sites. So that that doesn't represent general, but it still is a number that I find interesting. Um, I would have thought 
in terms of people moving to Windows 11 that are a little more tech savvy, that there could have been more that would have said, yeah, yeah, I'm going. I want to go to Windows 11. So uh, what do you think? What prevents people from moving to Windows 11, especially if you are one of those that has supported hardware? Is there something that scares you, something that you're like, I'm just okay with the way it is, or uh, am I just, um, or I, I hear too many bad things, or um, you can, of course, um, use the description below, the, uh, the comments below to, uh, to, to share with us uh, the reason why. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.